Today, traveling to Fayetteville, Arkansas. And uh, it actually was a really nice, smooth, easy trip. Today, there was just this kind of uh, neat thing you don't see too much where you've got this pretty thick cloud cover underneath you down this low cloud shelf. But then up above that, there's this kind of haze that was covering up the sun. So it made for these really neat looks and uh, really beautiful pictures. And then we fly into Northwest Arkansas. Now, the game is in Fayetteville, but we don't fly into Fayetteville. We actually fly into Rogers, Arkansas, which if I have my geography correct, is actually north of Fayetteville. It's kind of rural where you fly into. And then there's this bus ride. You got a train of three or four buses after we get off the airplane that take us into Rogers kind of proper where the hotel is. And I remember from a couple of years ago, it's like a two lane road and you're winding through these neighborhoods and like the parts of the road are so narrow that cars coming the other way are having to pull over to let the buses go by. So that's a little different with this trip, but then Rogers is really nice. We pulled in just as the sun was setting back to the west behind the hotel and it was a good trip. That's the view at 5 a.m. And that is the bus I'm going to get on at 5.30 a.m. Be there shortly. Well, that's a deep guy moves like a snake. <laughs> they chase that thing all over that party. This is what Reynolds Razorback Stadium looks like with no lights on. You are looking at the field right now. <clears throat> it doesn't say press box. Field level, food court, street level, south out. I hit three. We'll go in the middle and see what happens. Same right. Apparently I missed the turning on of the lights. I was lost during that. Where's the dang coffee? So TV show theme songs. 80s, 
Okay. And I'll play it, and you tell me if you know what it is. Okay. No particular order here. Simon and Simon. You heard three bars. Yeah, Simon and Simon, dude. That's awesome. I used to love that show. So, Gerald McCraney had a big cowboy hat on, drove that truck, he used to jump stuff all the time. Gerald McCraney from Collins, Mississippi. He uh, married the woman from uh, 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 Designing Women. Delta Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so you got the first one. If you get this one, I'll be impressed. New heart. New heart. New heart. He's three for three. That's sad, isn't it? And no, it's not sad. <laughs> four for four. Dynasty. You didn't even take you like. We don't even get too far into the song, and he already knows what it is. Who's the boss? Yeah. Five for five. Every 12-year-old boy had a crush on Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano. Sometimes the world looks perfect. Nothing can rearrange. There's a clue in there. Sometimes you just get a feeling like you need some kind of change. Six for six. I gotta make sure. Yeah. MacGyver. Yeah. He's seven for seven. This is easy. Oh, Matlock. Matlock. It's okay. I was, in, I was growing up, and this was on TV, and I thought, like, Ben Matlock was a cool student, yeah. and I wanted to be a lawyer. And because of Matlock? Because of Ben Matlock. And I got to college, and I realized after I took Com Law, I didn't need to be a lawyer. That was good. <laughs> Magnum P.I. said was, another thing every 12-year-old boy knew was that scene where he's out in the ocean, that girl's uh, snorkeling, and he's kind of holding her up a little bit. The dude that played Higgins died last week. Passed away last yeah. week. That's right. Going pain. So we're now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10 for 10. It's an easy one. Of all the ones on here that would take a little longer, that's the one I didn't. Well, think. my first, my gut was Family Matters. You know, cut it. Yeah. Out. Now, you know, this is family. This Family Matters. Yeah. You're trying to trick me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve for twelve. Oh, that's a Cosby show. Yeah. 13 for 13. You, this is... You wanna go where yeah. Yeah, I started watching it on Netflix the other day again. And, uh, Cheers. I he got it. Yeah, Jonathan got it. I couldn't appreciate it because I was so young at yeah, that point. And sure. those guys were on the air forever. Forever. And now their jokes are still funny. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. And I, I didn't catch on until the other day, too. You know, Norm would always walk into bars. And everybody would yell "Norm," and then you had to pause, and um, you had to pause, and uh, Shelley Long would always go "Norman," you know. And it was they always thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, how's it going, Norm? I, I know. Ah, uh, Sammy, it's a dog eat dog world, and I'm wearing milk bone underwear. <laughs> I came in one day, it was cold. I said, "What's up, Norm?" He said, "It's cold, my nipples." <laughs> <laughs> so 14 for 14. This is a bonus, but you probably get this one. First version. Yeah. The earliest of the early. Yeah. Charles and Charles. The man is 15 for 15. That's a really good job. I'll have 15 more for you next week. I started to say I'm disappointed there was no St. Elsewhere. Oh, there's oh there's a no long Hill Street Blues. One. I, there's a there's more.
Welcome back to Fayetteville, Arkansas, where Mississippi State gets its eighth win of the season. 28-21, the final score. 